Welcome back, all of you. Nana here, and then we are into the final day session of the day now. Fine, final session of the day actually. So we are now jumping into the tough zone actually, very tough zone. Fine, keenly watch and then shoot questions. Click on it. I will share the screen now. So first of all, let me save whatever has come. No, fine, click on it. So I will not save it. No, fine, click on it. No, go there. So let us not save it actually. Fifth one, I will not go to what Nana CM documentation. Classroom records, fine, click on OK. So the sixth one, fine, right click and then rename. Zero six, fine, it is a purchasing accounting. Two, so purchasing accounting tool, purchasing accounting tool, fine, go there. So that is not done now, fine, go there. So now, these are the three ones. We are now going to set up the charge account actually. I click on OK now. Charge account, I'm going to set up. I click on OK now. I will not right click and then duplicate. Right click and then duplicate. I'm not going to duplicate it. I will not set up the charge account actually. It is called material charge account actually. It is called material charge account. Find entry now. We are not going to set up this now. So click on the name on the right hand side top and then go to the setup and maintenance and then you go to the manufacturing and supply chain setup. In the setup area, drop it down and then bring it to the manufacturing and supply chain area and then choose the manage mapping set. Manage percentage, fine. Map percentage, fine. Set percentage. So go to the manage mapping set of cost accounting, fine. Cost accounting, go there. So click on it. And then already the scope is there, fine. Click on the manage mapping set. And then go to the material charge account. Now. Search for the material charge account. Now. Material charge account is the one I'm going to search for. Is the material account organization? This is a, again a very big topic actually. So that will all be fully explained on the purchasing training actually. And at this uh, submit level also, okay, sir, everything will be explained in purchasing. Now we are now doing only a skeleton setup actually. So click on the material charge account and go there. there. Tell me which is my chart of accounts. FR chart of accounts or UK chart of accounts. Which is my chart of accounts? Anybody? US charge. US charge. US charge. US charge. US chart of accounts is the charge account. Right? The COA is what you charge account. Fine, go there, click on it. I am not going to make an ad now. I click on it. So I will not first of all click on it. I will not take a copy of the charge account. Fine, go there. So click on it. I will not take a copy of the charge account. I will not take a copy of the charge account now. So take copy it and then go there. So click on plus and then I will not add my organization now. Fine. It is a capital D 021. Fine, go there. I will not paste it. So my uh, my organization's charge account is added. My organization charge account is added. So middle charge account is added now. So click on save and close now. It is not done. So you go to the edit purchase order. Now you go to actions and then go to validate. So the charge account is set. So previously we had three errors. Fine, click on validate actions validate. You will now have only two errors. Fine, click on it. You will have only two errors now. So only two errors will be coming. So three errors were there. So PO accrual account, fine variance account, charge account is also coming. I don't know why it's so it should not come at all. It should not come at all. Fine. What are the mistakes? No, fine. Go there. Click on it. Middle account organization. Fine. Click on it. Because they already set it up properly. No, fine. Go there. So go to this place. Fine. Go there. Go down and then have a look at it. No, fine. I will not go to what? Query by example. No. <laughs> so here's the one. No, fine. I will not say D021 and then enter it. We enter it. What happens? We have already the account. No, fine. D021. Fine. Sometimes what happens? We may have to log out and log in. No, fine. So even though we are given it, what happens? It is not coming. So let me log out and log in and then see. No, fine. Click on it. I will sir. Yeah, tell me. I think sub subledger should be purchasing. We have taken cost management subledger application. Oh, no, no, it is a it's called a, it's a POS one now. Subledger is not purchasing now. Fine. Subledger is only cost management actually. On the PO, everything is cost management only. We'll come okay. to that. We're going to come to that. Fine. Click on it. Subledger is not purchasing actually. Fine. Click on it. It's okay. only cost management. Fine. Click on sign out now. Yeah. Sign out and sign in now. So click on confirm. And then we will not sign in. No, I go there. Click on it. So I will not go to the purchase orders. No, that. So go to the procurement. I go to the purchase orders and then query it. No, fine. Record, record it. So click on it. I will not go to the manage orders. I will not go to the manage orders. Fine. Two lakh is the order number. No, fine. Click on it. I will not go to the two lakh order number. Order number is what two? One, two, three, four, five, and G. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then click on search. No, fine. He is a buyer actually. Fine. Doesn't matter. So that same thing. Fine. Click on it. <coughs> I will not find it. No. And then I will not click on the hyperlink on the order number. I will not bring it to edit mode now. So I am not clicking on the hyperlink on the order number. So let me bring it to the edit mode and then I will not validate it. I have to validate it again. I will not bring it to the edit mode and then I will not validate it. So actions and then bring it to edit mode now. Actions edit mode, I am not bringing it to edit mode and then actions validate now. Actions and then go to validate. 
సుప్రీం కోర్టు వ్యాలిడేషన్ సో ఓన్లీ టూ ఎరర్స్ వస్తుంది సో ఓన్లీ టూ ఎరర్స్ కమింగ్ సో సమ్ టైమ్స్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ సమ్ బిగ్ సెటప్స్ వాట్ హ్యాపన్ సార్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు లాగ్ అవుట్ అండ్ లాగిన్ రిమంబర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ నో గోన్ టు గో ఫర్ దట్ ఇన్వాయిస్ ప్రైస్ వేరియన్స్ అకౌంట్ నో ఫైన్ కోదా సో ఇస్ అకౌంట్ ఐ గివన్ నో ఫైన్ కోదా సో వీ లో గో ఫర్ ద ఇన్వాయిస్ ప్రైస్ వేరియన్స్ అకౌంట్ ఫైన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నో ఫర్ గాడన్ టు వాట్ హ్యాపన్ సార్ నోట్ ఇట్ డౌన్ యాక్చువల్లీ in my area i want to note it down of angular so i will not say what happens that uh, charge account charge account right i will not note it down after we come out of angular i will not note down that. so next is what invoice price variance account again right click and then duplicate right click and then duplicate now and then go there click on it and then go there click on it. invoice price variance account i'm going to set up right click on set up and maintenance and then the left hand side manufacturing and supply chain management you go there manage percentage fine map to percentage fine set <coughs> and go there manage mapping set of cost accounting i'm choosing it now so go there and then the scope is already selected i will now click on the hyperlink of it and then query for the invoice now fine click on the invoice invoice and then query for it now. so go there invoice price variance account organization fine click on it. again it is a big topic i'm not covering it fully fine only skeleton one i'm doing it fine select it and then go there and then i will now choose one of them now. this will be given by the financials actually i'm going to go there i will not choose. take a copy of it now and so take a copy of it and then i will not put it on my one also so charge account is there fine i will not say variance account variance account fine go there variance account fine go there this account is there so go there so click on plus and then i will not add my organization is what d021 and then i will not paste the same account so in in fact whatever the reality come by the financial will be giving different different accounts for different different organizations only go there so click on save and close this is now done now we'll now go to the edit document and then we'll again do the validation of and click on it i will not give a save and then give a save and then you go to actions it has to become one now and click on it now only one is coming now and click on it you go to the actions and go to validate only one error has to come now if two errors are coming what i have to do now if i'm getting still two errors now what i have to do anybody log out and log in log out and log in is very simple one log out and log in if only uh, two errors are still coming then log out and log in I go that one. Now here, what happens? You go there. I will now query for the material, and then I will now take a copy of it. Now I will now go to the material. Now fine. Material, and then enter. Now fine. Material, material account organization. Let me take a copy of it. Now fine. Click on it. The US startup accounts fine. Go down. I have forgotten to take a copy of it. Now fine. So go to the here. What happens? I will now say D zero two one, and then enter. Now I will now take a copy of the account. This is the charge account. Ah, this is charge account. So take a copy. I will now put on this place. Now. <coughs> so the charge account is this now. charge account right next is what so accrual account is a very important account accrual account is a very important account fine go there so click on it the account no account now go there is a very important account fine go there so click on cancel now whenever you are coming in do not save and come fine when you have only gone for only viewing it what about the software logic says that you have to cancel and come out of it you should not save and come out remember remember so go there accrual account fine right? accrual is a very important account accrual accrual account i'm going to do accrual account organization fine go that account so go there so you have chart up account is the one fine go that account it i will not go there i will not take up this account you got to take a copy of the account copy and then click on plus and then i will now put it for my organization so it's a d021 fine go that click on base one so now here what happens i'm not going to give a different account so the accrual account i will now set it as 70 now 70 i'm now setting it now fine so i am not changing it to 70 actually fine take out it it must be available now fine if it is not available it will not throw an error so go there so i have not given a different accrual now there are two types of accrual one is a receipt accrual and then one is a payables accrual now fine go there so there are two accounts are there fine so now the po accrual is nothing but a payables accrual and then receipt accrual is also there now so receipt accruals and then the payables accrual which is nothing but the po accrual are the two things which are very important actually so i have now set up the po accrual is what 22270 so that what is i'm going to click on it done so go there so click on save now fine click on save save and close now everything is now set we go to the edit documents and then what happens you click on okay and then i will now validate it and go to the actions and then go to validate i'm going to validate it now there will not be any error at all if an error is coming again log out and log in the error will go away now. there will not be any error at all 
and you can see all the three accounts on the distribution now, right? In the PO distribution, you can see all the accounts which are now getting populated on the same. So it's now validating, validating. <coughs> yeah, no errors or warnings were found now. Fine, click on okay. And then if you go down, if you go to the distributions now, fine, go to the distributions on this and then have a look at the account now. Fine, click on the distributions. You can go there, select it and then click on it. Distributions and then select the line and then click on it. You can now see the charge accrual and variance account reflecting over there actually. So the charge account, the variance account, and then the accrual account, that's it actually. Next is what? Approval. Fine. I will now go to the place. Fine. Now I will now set up the approvals actually. I will now set up the approval to automatic. Now fine. Click on it. I will now go to the search. Now fine. Go there. I will now go to what? Manage, map, manage doc approvals. So manage doc approval is the one which I am going to set up the PO approvals. Now fine. Click on it. Manage okay. purchasing document approvals. Here I am going to set it up to automatic actually. There are plenty of methods are there. Fine. Go there. So somebody is now working on that. What about the post approval serial now? I will not choose the terms approval serial now. <clears throat> that nobody is working now. Right? Click on it. No. I will not go there. So click on it. Uh, somebody is speaking. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. Anna, sir, usually for purchase order, we are configuring the TAD. Yeah. So TAD will be this... taught by uh, uh, Tijil. Tijil will no, be no, uh, tab and TAD. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, no, no. But for uh, like the method which you have shown for the mapping sets and the cost, uh, cost account, that is also preferable or? No, no, no. Purpose. This is a standard one. But in reality, what happens? The tab and tad will be set, and then yes. they'll all be different mapping set actually. Uh -huh. In reality, okay. these are only for the vision we are using it actually. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are using the ready-made standard visions the mapping set actually. But in uh -huh. reality, what happens? They will all be different. Reality, so, we need to configure tab and tad. We will not teach you about how to create all the mapping sets actually. Okay. Got it. We are using the ready-made one in the vision actually. Mm -hmm. Just for a training purpose. Only for training purposes. Got it. Got it. Only got for it. training purposes, we are using ready-made one. But in field, you won't be using these ready-mades at all. Yes, yes. Tad only. You have to set up the tad and tad fully. That will be Perfect. talked digital in his costing training actually. Yes. Talk okay. to him and then when he is conducting it, or otherwise he buy his records and then practice on your own. Sure, sir. Sure. No. So now what happens? Rule always applies, it is automatic now. Fine, it's okay. So this one I am going to enable now. So, okay, cancel no fine. So, uh, do, this one I'm going to enable no fine. Click on enable, the enable will be coming. And then this one I will not disable it. So, go there, click on it. I will not disable it. No fine. Click on it. I will not disable it. So, my rule, which is now automatic approval, fine. Go there, click on it. That is enabled actually. It's enabled actually. <laughs> so, go there, edit rules, fine. Go there. So, how you have to do, I will not tell you, fine. Go there. So, if you give a plus no fine, click on it. How to make an automatic no fine. Click on plus no. If it is not there, no entry is there, fine. I will not say auto. Go there and then in this rule always applies. You put it when click on OK now and then go down in the add action. When click on it and then make it as automatic, make it as automatic and go there. Click on OK and then save it. Actually, this is the way you are doing. I'm not going to save it now. Fine. So, this is the way you are doing it. After saving it, you have to deploy it. You have to save and then deploy. Remember, I will not cancel it. Are you all clear? But how to make an automatic approval? Anybody has got a doubt? Please tell me. So, if nothing is there, you have to do it now. Fine. But since already your entry is there, I'm not doing anything. So after saving it, you have to deploy. Then only it will be effective actually. Remember. If nothing is... So since already only there, fine, if we click on it, what happens there? We already have automatic approval, so I am not using it now. So I will not give a save no, no. So deploy it now. Fine. Save and deploy. So you will not deploy it. When you are making a new entry, what happens? You have to save and deploy it. <laughs> and no, no, one you have to enable now. Tell me. Hmm. Not an auto approval, but if we want to set the change uh, order approval, everything will be explained on the procurement training. Actually, fine. There are six methods of approval. Fine. There are six methods of approval. They will all be fully explained on my procurement training. Actually, okay, man. Here we are not doing it now. Fine. So because we are concentrating on accounting, fine. So this must be enabled. Actually, now you go to the edit document and then we will not see. Go there. Who is going to be the approver? Click on the manage approvers. It has to say application developer has to approve. Fine. Click on the manage approver. It has to say application developer has to approve. So click on it and then it will not say that the application developer has to approve it. Two lakh is the one. So that application developer will be coming in the picture. Yeah, And on the receiving parameter, we have given the receipt routing as standard. Fine, go there. Now, you see, application developer is coming. That means what? It is automatic approval. So, click on submit now. So, click on submit. I'm submitting it. It will be getting approved automatically. The 2 lakh PO will be getting approved automatically because application developer is the only guy who has to approve it, actually. There are six methods of approval. Everything will be explained on my procurement training. Go down. Now, here, what happens if we go to the schedules and then see, it must be a standard receipt routing. 
and select it. What are the schedules and select it and then what happens? You go there and then see on this one, right? You click on the details on this one. You cannot have any date because it's already submitted for approval. So click on the details and then have a look at it. And then I say you have a details now, click on it and then see that the result routing is standard actually. It's a standard result routing. So click on done and then come out of it and then wait for the approval to happen. Right? Click on done. So it is now edited and click on search again. It has to become open actually. If it is the open one, that means what? It is approved actually. It is no pending approval. If you click on the hyperlink on the pending approval, it will now say the process is going on now. Fine, it is unavailable. We have to wait for some time. So the next activity is what? We have to go and then receive in the gate actually. So 1,000 quantities at $2, we are going to receive or $1. 1,000 <laughs> ordered quantity at $1, we are going to receive it now. Fine. Right click and then duplicate. We are going to get to the gate of the organization and then we are going to receive it now. So here what happens, you go to the supply chain execution. You go to the supply chain execution, now fine, go there, go to the supply chain execution, and then here, what happens, you go to what? Inventory management. Fine. Inventory management, I'm going over there. Not the inventory management new, but inventory management actually. Inventory management, you go there. I will now add it to my favorites, now fine, click on it. Go to add to favorites, and go there. It is the INV overview. INV overview, and then give a save. It is added. Now, I go there, click on the task account, drop down and then go to the receipts now. Drop down on the good receive expected shipments. And since we have an what happens access only for one inventory org that will be coming up automatically right now. So it's not coming. So click on change org. So click on change org. We have to change the org. So drop it down. Wherever you are having an access, it will be showing you. We have an access for D011 and then D021. Fine. You choose it now. So wherever you are given a data access, those org only we can work on. Click on it. So go there. So it is now changed actually. So D021 is coming on the left hand side. You go to the receive expected shipment. So we are expecting 1000 quantities from supplier. If I click on the receive expected shipments, I will now put the purchase order number and then going. I'm going to go there. It's a 2 lakh. And then give a tap. So now that means what? It is not yet approved. So we have to wait for this to approve. Give a tap. And then click on search here. So we have to wait, wait, wait. So till it gets approved, what happens? It will not be visible at all here. So click on search now, fine. Search, 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 and then wait for it. You go here also, what happens? You give a search now, fine. So expand the search and then see. Fine. This is for the first time you're doing it, and it is not taking a long time. Fine. Click on the pending approval. <coughs> now what happens? It's not again saying it is not it approved. Fine. Oh, God. You click on it, what happens? It has to show me the path of approval, actually. Ah. So click on search. We go to the receive expectation, but make a search now. Fine, click on search. So it has got approved now. Fine, good. So here, what happens if we go there in the manage orders? If you click on the hyperlink of it, if you go there and then see now, fine. So it will not show you that it has got approved automatically. If you see, application developer has approved it. The task is completed. Both the tick marks are coming here now. Got it now, fine. Both the things are coming. So it is approved actually. Fine, click on done. And then if you requery it, what happens? It is no more pending approval. It will be open actually. In the purchase order area, it will no more. Fine, click on search now. It will be open actually. Are you all understanding it? Can somebody say yes to me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You go to the receive expected shipments and then what happens? This is coming fine. Select it and then click on OK. I am going to receive the entire thousand quantity now. Fine. Click on search. Fine. Click on search. I am now going to receive the entire quantity. Fine. Select the line from the return side. Click on receive. We are going to receive it now. Fine. The entire thousand quantity I am going to receive it now. So here, if you click on the show receive quantity, it will say how much is expected from supplier actually. So, so, so there is no sub inventory at all because we are receiving the gate actually. So click on create zip. So a GRN number will be created actually. So the GRN number will not start on 1000 or 2000 or 3000. 2000. 2000 is very correct. So click on create zip and then what happens? You can see shipper number is what? 123. And then the packing slip number is 456. Go there. And then the shipping method, fine. If you drop down, if it is it's not set properly, fine. It's not coming. It's okay. And the number of units is 4 actually. And then the way bill number, 789. And then the bill of lighting number, 5678. So you, what about Jingu Chakra notes? So while you're receiving the gate, what happens? Populate enrich with so many of information, actually. So that it will be easy for uh, tracking it later on. And now you say, sir, I have now given a packing slip number of 456. Have you received it or not? So we can even query on the packing slip number and then do it. So click on submit. Now a GRN number will be created. Fine, click on submit now. You're never getting a GRN number. It's called goods receipt note number. Which will be running from 2000, fine. Now 2001. So we are given 2000. Now the next number is 2001. So the goods receipt number 2001 is now created. Fine, click on OK now. And then we will now deliver it to the inventory. Fine, click on the now. We are now going to deliver it to the inventory. Fine, click on the now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Now, the moment you make a receipt now, 
we are not making a reserve. Fine. Once when the gate receipt is made, then what happens? It is our material actually. So the accrual account will be hit automatically. Even though we are not delivered it, what happens? It is our material because we have not made a gate receipt actually. So now we are supposed to make a payment. So the accrual will now get charged by 1000 into 1000 rupees actually, 1000 dollars actually. So upon making a gate receipt, what happens now? Now let us now do the, uh, what the delivery also. We will not deliver it to the inventory. Oh my God, where, 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 where. So click on it. We will now do a put away. So put away is the one where I am going to put it away now. Fine, click on the put away. Receipt put away. Fine. The receipt number is what? 2001. And then go there, make a search now. Fine, click on search. You are now going to make a delivery. Select it and then click on put away. Fine, click on put away. This time what happens? We have to say in which sub inventory you want to put away. Drop it down. I will now say we have got only one sub inventory. That will be coming. Fine, click on submit. By which what happens? The receive and put away are completed now. The receive and put away transactions are completed. Now the inventory stock will be there now. Fine, click on now. We'll now go on and have a look at the inventory now. Fine, click on that. We'll go there. So both the receive and put away are completed. We'll now go on and look at the stock in the inventory now. Fine. Click on it. And then here you choose inventory now, not receipts. Go to the inventory. And then manage item quantities. Fine, go there. I will now put my item over here now. Fine. Item number is what? D0201 and then give it a Full item will be coming. Fine. Click on purchasing. Click on search now. It will show. Thousand quantities are available in the inventory. If you expand it. It will show you in which organization and then which sub inventory it will show. Expand it organization and then afterwards it will show the sub inventory also. So in the sub inventory we have it. Now, we are now going to push this transaction to the costing area. We are now going to push it to the costing area. Now, click on it. We will now push it to the costing area. So for which whatever, I will now right click and then duplicate. We will now push the transaction to the costing area. So go there. I will now click on the star icon. I will now go to the monitor process. There is a favorites now. Fine, go to the monitor process. So let me push this transaction to the costing area. Fine. Click on the schedule new process. Fine. Go there. <coughs> it's called transfer transactions from receiving to costing. So whatever you have received will be pushed into the costing area. Fine. Go there. Transfer transactions from receiving to costing. Fine. Click on OK. Now. Fine. Liberally. So click on OK. The transfer transaction from receiving to costing. Fine. It is not having any parameters at all. No parameters for this note. Transfer transactions. Whatever you have received in the gate will be pushed into the costing area. Fine. Click on submit. Now. We are going to run. Similarly, whatever has been delivered, also we are going to run now. Fine, click on it. I have already put in the search my number now. Fine, submitted by what happens? EA01. Fine, click on search now. Fine, whatever we are running, that will be coming. So it is now running now. Fine, so click on refresh now. Fine, click on refresh. It will be refreshed. It has succeeded. Now, whatever has been delivered, we are going to do it now. Fine, go there. So click on it. So schedule new process. Fine, go there. Come on. I will now say transfer fine. transactions from. Inventory to costing. <laughs> so initially receiving to costing, now inventory to costing. Transfer transaction from inventory to costing, fine, go there, click on it. So the receiving to costing do not have any parameters, whereas inventory to costing is now asking for the cost org. So it is cost org specific now. Fine. Transferring inventory to costing is cost org specific. You leave the commit interval as such now, fine, click on submit. So whatever has been transacted on the cost org only will be done now, fine. For every cost org, we have to separately transfer it. Any doubts? We have got only one cost of. We have got multiple cost of. Everything has to be done separately only. We cannot club multiple cost stocks together. So whatever has been delivered in the inventory, cost stocks specific, we have to transfer it to cost. You know, fine, come in. You know, running. Close it. You know, submit this grid out. Fine, close it. And then what happens? You click on refresh. You know, running. You know, running. Now we are going to perform a receipt accounting. We are going to perform a receipt accounting. You know that. So go there, click on it, we'll go to the place. So now what happens, we will now go to the costing area, we will now go to the receipt accounting area, and then we will now create the distribution for these two things. One is the receiving inspection, and then one is the accrual. Right? We will now create the distribution for the first two entries now, these two entries now. Remember, receipt accounting do not have any periods at all. Only cost accounting is having periods. Now. So we are going to process the receipt accounting for this now. Fine, it is already completed, fine, go there. We will now perform the receipt accounting now. Right click on the duplicate. Are you all clear? I'm going fast. Is yes, it sir. Clear yes, sir. Very good. Yeah. So go to the supply chain execution and then we should not go to the cost accounting, but go to the receipt accounting. You go to the receipt accounting. And click on the receipt accounting. So click on the receipt accounting and go there. So click on it. And then I will now choose my what happens, my business unit. Receipt accounting is BU specific now. Fine. You click on the center icon and then drop down and then choose your org. Use your cost org actually. Use your what happens, your business unit actually. So I'm not choosing my business unit. <laughs> click on apply. So if you click on apply, 
what happens you can now see there is no cost of receipts at all why we have received it isn't it we have received 1000 gold is 1 dollar but why cost of receipt is not coming anybody why cost of receipt is not coming program should run complete we have transferred it to the costing area so it has gone to the interface area of costing from the interface to base table we need to run ess job exactly we have to run the ess job for bringing it to the base tables actually Fine, remember, remember receipt accounting do not have any periods. So click on it. We will now create the distributions directly. You go there. So in the accrual processing, what happens? We will now create receipt accounting. Click on the create receipt accounting. Fine, go there. By which what happens? The data from the interface tables of receipt accounting will now come to the base tables. Now. And click on the create receipt accounting distribution. Create receipt accounting distribution. The one. So the business unit is what? D02. And then give a tab now. It is BU specific. Now fine, go there. One. And then click on submit. So once when you submit it, what happens? It will be brought to the base tables of receipt accounting. If I click on submit now, it will be brought to the base tables. If I click on it, you know, process. We go to the what happens? Monitor process, then make a search. Now, fine. You know, see what happens? The data import is now happening from the interface tables of receipt accounting into the base tables now. Import of the transaction is now happening. Now, if I click on it, now happening. Fine. Click on it, and this will now spawn one more child process actually. The import transactions on interface tables of receipt accounting into the base tables. Fine. We are now creating the receipt accounting distribution. The import is happening. Fine. Refresh it. It will now spawn one more child actually. One or two more childs. I am not very sure about it. How many childs will come now? So once the import is running, it will be spawning some more childs actually. <clears throat> so first it will now import it from the interface tables of receipt accounting into the base tables. And then afterwards what happens? The distribution gets created actually. Now you see, create receipt accounting distribution. So once when the import is completed, the sub process of distribution creation is now coming now. So it's running now fine. So it has to succeed. It may even run one more. I'm not very sure, but I'm not remembering it actually. So now the distributions will be created for the receipt accounting actually. It's completed. Fine, go there, click on it. We'll now come back to this area. Fine, click on this one. So here, what happens if you go there? We'll now come to the manage. Where is the one now? Fine. Manage data models. Where is the one now? I was in this. Uh, oh God. Okay. I know uh, what happens. I know close this area. I think probably <coughs> create receipt accounting distribution. The one. Fine, go there. So it's all completed actually. Fine. Click on the home icon. Fine. I know what happens. Uh, okay. I'll now click on the home icon. I will now go to the receipt icon. If I go there, how much will be the receipt accounting? Fine. What is the receipt accounting cost actually? Anybody? It is thousand dollars into one or thousand quantities in one dollars. So getting thousand dollars. In this place, yeah. what happens? You'll be getting thousand dollars. So fine, go there. So I will not go there and then change my organization. Fine, click on it. I will not change the organization. Fine, go there. So I will not change it to my business unit. Fine, go there. Go on. And then click on apply now. The business unit. So one K is the total cost of receipts actually. Hmm. 1k is the total cost of the receipts. Fine, go there. I will now see the receipt accounting distribution. View the receipt accounding. Fine, click on it. We'll now view it. Now. So go there. Review receipt accounting distribution. So initially we created it. Then we'll now review the receipt accounting distribution. We are now reviewing it. Fine, go there. So I will now say whatever the item starts with. Let's say D02. We'll now give minimal parameters and make a search. No point. Now search for it. Now see whether it comes or not. Otherwise, we have to give more. Fine, we got it. Fine. So now it says what? Distribution processed. So the receiving account distribution has got processed. Now we will now ask the payables club to make a payment action. Right? The receipt, the distribution is now processed actually. Now the payables is now, clerk is now going to make a payment now. Right? No, Any doubts? We'll now go there, click on it. I will now click on done now. Right? Come on of it. I will now go to the payables. Right? Click on done now. The payables clerk is now going to make a payment. So now what I was, the mechanical department which has ordered for the pump, they say that don't pay for 1000 Retain 10% of the payment. Right? Click on it. Now, uh, the mechanical department guy is the ultimate guy in the P2P life cycle. He's the owner of the P2P life cycle. And then the others are providing only service to him now. Right? So he is instructing the payables clerk to whatever the held because the two years pass is not given to him, given, given by the supplier actually for the payables. And then he is not going to create an invoice. So he has already given, sent a mail to the payables clerk. So the payables clerk will now create an invoice only for 900 quantities and not for 1000 quantities. The payables clerk, the GL team, Right, the the pay uh, the what happens the suppliers and then the inventory in charge. Everybody provides the services to the mechanical department who raises the requisition actually. So the requester is the ultimate authority in a P2P life cycle actually. 
Everybody else is a service provider actually. Got it now? And click on it. I am not telling based upon my experience actually. When I worked on the field also, and then I implemented this product. So based upon my experience, I'm bringing it to you. And click on it. I will now go to the create invoice. So click on the create invoice. I am now on the invoice area, invoice workbench. I will now create invoice. <clears throat> I will now put my PO number. It will now say how much is now eligible for a payment actually. I will now go on and put my PO number. <laughs> So click on it and then I'm not going to create an invoice for whatever. 900 quantities only, remember. Even though 1000 is more eligible for a payment, but the mechanical department has now put a hold. Don't pay everything now. Fine, there's orders. So click on create invoice and then I'm not going to go to the invoice area. Now. And then query on the PO number now. Query on the PO number. <coughs> you got two, one, two, three, four, five. You query on the PO number. Is not coming. ABC consultant is not coming. My business unit, everything will be coming. <laughs> everything is coming. I will not put the invoice number as what? 1001. So, how much amount the payables clerk is going to release now? Tell me. 900. 900 only, not 1000. Remember? 900. Yeah. Because 900. mechanical department has already sent an email. Right? Hmm. So, well, so, he will now create it only for 900 plus taxes actually. But the location is not having any taxes at all. Fine. Whatever location you have created, we are not set up the tax for the location, and so there will be no tax for this. Give a tax. And then he will now obtain the number by matching the invoice. So once when you match it and then create the accrual, then what happens? Accrual will be relieved for 900 quantities. Remember, accrual is quantity based and not representative amount. So 900 quantities will be getting related and then it will be coming over here now by matching it. Once when you match it and then create the invoice, Right. Accrual, which is now for thousand dollars for thousand quantities, will be relieved by nine hundred quantities. So another hundred quantities will be balanced actually. So he will not match the invoice lines. He will not give a go no. So there it will not show you how much is eligible for a payment actually. It will not show you how much is eligible for a payment actually. It will not say what happens if you select the line. Point over there. So ordered is thousand. Available for payment is thousand now. But because of mechanical department's insistence, he is going to make a change to 900. Because he is the requester. Requester is the ultimate authority. He can whatever the design anything. Others are giving only service now. So he is now going to make a payment only for 900 now. Thank you, it. So click on apply and then click on OK. So now what happens? There will be a difference between what? The receipt accrual mm -hmm. and then the payables accrual. It will go there. So receipt accrual and then the payable accrual, there is a difference actually. This is where the entire process comes into picture. Right? The receipt accrual, what happens? The, the payments accrual, there is a difference now. Right? So there will be an unmatched uh, difference will be there between the receipt accrual and then the payments accrual. Got it now? So 900 yes. load up. <laughs> so click on it and then go there. And then what happens? Uh, before I go there, right? I will not go to the review receipt accounting. So here, let me go and then create my distribution. It is now received. Let me create the distribution now. So it's all that. So what happens? The received is now distribution is now processed. Let me do the create accounting for this one. If you go there, if you go to the distribution, you can go there, click on the distribution. You can now see what happens. The receiving inspection is now hit at thousand dollars, and then accrual is now thousand dollars. So the receiving inspection is now at thousand dollars debit, and then a credit or whatever accrual is now credited. Mm -hmm. So receiving inspection is debited and then accrual is credited actually. But there is no accounting involved at all. Accounting is not done. Fine. If you go to the distribution, go to the journal entries, you have not done it. So let us now first of all create the journal entries and then do the accounting also for the receipt. Nothing is there. So we will now go there. Fine. Click on it and then we will now do the create accounting for the receipt now. In the accounting, click on create accounting. So we are now going to perform a receipt accounting now. The subledger accounting is what? Drop down. I will now choose the receipt accounting. I will not choose the receipt accounting. Receipt accounting is on. Where is the ledger number? Fine. It is a D02 ledger or what is the ledger now? Anybody? US. US. US primary. US primary yeah. is on. Thank you, Adam. US primary is on. So click on it. I will not make it to the final thing. So I will not go for it. Also, So for the ledger, we are now making a receipt accounting. Transfer everything is there. So click on it and then we will now submit it. So click on submit and then we are now creating the receipt accounting now. It is now submitted. We will not go to the monitor process and then have a look at it. We will not go to the monitor process and then have a look at it. So we are now doing the create accounting. So the create accounting will now put all the appropriate accounts for the receiving inspection as well as accrual. These are the two entries for which what happens. The system will be putting the account. So go there. 
So click on it. Create accounting is now running. Wait, wait, wait. Click on it. You know, wait, wait, wait. So go there. Create accounting sub process. And then post post the general general of that. You will not have an execution report also. You will not have a look at the execution report actually. Sub process there, and then we'll now have a report. We will now look at the report about what happened, the accounting process which has happened for this thing. Post sub ledger journal. So, create accounting is the one. I'm going to go at. I'm going at a very high speed. I'm going to import journal child is also running. Now, thank you, Connor. Import journal child is also running. Since I'm working on vision, what happens is there is no problem on the accounting at all. Otherwise, what happens is you'll be lending up an error actually. If I have my own structure and then do it, what happens is you will now see that this account is not set, this is not mm. set, everything will be coming actually. But since it is a vision one, what happens is every account is there and so what happens is I am unable to simulate the error and then show it to you now. <laughs> Both the journal is also happening now. Fine, there is no problem at all. So once when you attend my training, I will be having my own structure and then I will not show you all the errors and then I will not correct the errors actually. But I am in working on vision and so what happens is there is no possibility of what I'm doing now. So now the report is running now if I click on it. So if you have your own enterprise structure, the enterprise structure creation is now taught in inventory basics as well as purchasing basics. So some of you do the structure creation fully right from your own LE, your own chart of accounts and then everything. And then on this, you set up this purchasing accounting and then see. There you will now find all the problems. You will not succeed at going back on it. You will not republish it. You will not go back on it. Go that you choose the report and then click on republish. Now, thank you. Know, republish. I am unable to simulate error actually. Click on it. If everything is success, what happens? It is a failure for me. No? <laughs> Vision will not succeed. Now, I click on it. You know, see the accounting. Now, click on it. You know, see what happens. Everything is coming actually. Number of events is warning. Fine, nothing is there. Number of events in error. There are some events are there, but ours is US primary ledger. Nine. Fine. Number of incomplete journal entries is zero actually. Final journal entries is 9, fine. And then invalid entries are 18, actually, fine. It may be 18. So go down and see whether ours is coming somewhere or not, fine. It's very difficult to identify, actually. There exactly ours is. There, 2001 is there. Mm. 2001, okay, fine, yeah. Receiving, receiving the inspection, why not 2000? It is an invalid one. Invalid. Good, good, good. So we have a problem here, no? We have a problem. What is some, whatever successful has been posted there. No, no, sir. It's not ours, I think. This is because this is US RCSL. Oh, US RC. So, okay, okay. Fine. Yeah, this is not ours. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, don't sorry. have even line numbers. Okay, okay, fine. I go there. Click on it. Go down now. Fine. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know how to see this now. Fine. So much of errors. Go there. Click on it. Uh, it is a trading transit. Go there. Click on it. So, uh, ours is what? Re receiving inspection to what happens? Accrual, actually. That is the entry now. Receiving inspection to accrual is the one. Receiving accrual to receiving inspection now. Oh God, that is must be what happens at nine hundred dollars actually. I will now go to the control F and then choose for the nine hundred now. Fine, nine hundred is the one. I will now go there and then see. Fine, where is nine hundred? Thousand, right? No, no, th nine nine hundred is only received. No, oh, thousand. Now fine, we have received thousand actually. Yes, yeah, received a thousand. Thousand, okay, fine. Thousand, thousand is the one. So yeah, there is nothing at all. <laughs> it doesn't show anything at all. It's very very difficult to understand. No, fine, so many entries are there in vision. No? Somewhere it is there now, fine. It's very difficult to understand, fine, closer. But what happens is we can never see in this place. You can check in distribution. We can even see in this place, actually. If you go to the create accounting, fine, closer. Mm. It's all done now, fine. Click on cancel now. You will not go to the receiving accounting, fine, closer. It's not done now. So go to the review, receive. This is accounting distribution. We are now closing it now, fine. Click on close now. I will now requery it, actually. And click on search again now. Now, distribution is processed. Then it will now end up in error, actually. So click on the search now, fine. If you make a search, what happens? It will now say with the error, actually. If there is a mistake on that, right? there's an error. Good, mm. good, good. We got an error. Right? Excellent. So go there. So here, what happens if you go there? So view errors is there. Right? Go there. If you expand it, you'll not say what is the error. Right? Click on it. You'll not expand it and then see. So the input source value does not map to any output value for the mapping set accrual. No. So accrual is not set actually. That is one error. You go down. And then here, go there. Click on it. Expand it. And then see now. Again, accrual is the error. No. Right? Accrual is the error. And go there. So it is receiving into inspection actually. Fine. Click on expand it and then go there and see. Fine. Go there. So only accrual is the only error now. So but <laughs> receiving inspection is not having any error at all. So accrual is having error now. So we will not set up the accrual now. Fine. Click on it. We will not close it. So go there. So here what happens? We are not going to set up. So here this is already set now. And the receiving area, receiving inspection is already set. So there is no error at all. But accrual is having error. 
So we will now go to the purchasing, uh, what happens, mapping set, and then there we will now set up the accrual actually. Fine. It's called receipt accrual. Fine. We have to set up. Fine. Click on it. We will now go there, click on it. We will now go to the place, fine. click on it. I will now go and then right click and then duplicate now. So go there. So I will now this time go to the receipt uh, purchasing accounting. So previously I go to the what? In manufacturing and supply chain management cost accounting, I was going now. Now I will now go to what? I will now click on it. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. And then this time, what happens? I will now go to what? Purchasing area and not manufacturing and supply chain management. Drop it down. I will now go to the procurement. Fine, not purchasing. I will now go to the procurement. I will now go to the procurement. I go to the procurement. In this one, what happens? I am going to query for the man manage mapping set. Manage percentage fine. Map percentage fine. Set percentage. I will now go on and query. So I will now go to the receipt accounting. Manage mm -hmm. mapping set of receipt accounting. I am going to do it now. Manage mapping set of receipt accounting. I am going over there. And remember, this does not have any scope at all. Only for cost management, the scope is coming. Whereas for the what happens, the purchasing accounting will not have it. And the procurement accounting, what happens, the noticing. So it's receipt accounting. Fine, click on this one. I will now query for the accrual. Now. Fine, click on accrual. I will now go to the accrual. Now. Accrual is not set at all. No saying fine with that. R U A L. Accrual is not set. Fine, click on it. I will now click on the accrual and then I will now set up the accrual. So go there. I will now call, choose your start of accounts. So on the procurement, on the manage mapping center, on the receipt accounting, I am not doing it now. Thank you, Colin. I will not take a copy of it. I will not take a copy of it. Thank you, Colin. I will not take a copy of it. So click on plus and then I will now put it for my organization. Organization is what? D021. Fine, go there. So here, what happens? Uh, the category is coming. Fine. Drop it down and then put a star. Star is what? In the top. So this is a list of values, and then you have to choose it now. Here we have to enter it manually. Right? And then here also, what happens? You go there, I will not paste it. So what happens? You go there, it's now coming as a 10 now. Fine, go there. I will not see. Fine, go there. So we have an accrual account on the PO is 70. Mm -hmm. I will not make it as 80 now. It is called PO AP accrual. PO AP accrual. <laughs> I will not make one as well, zip accrual. So this POAP <coughs> will go to tables, right, sir? Huh? This POAP accrual will go to tables and this exactly. will be remain into the receipt accounting. That's exactly. a two, it will not remain. 210. I will make it as 80 actually. I will make it as 80. Receipt accrual, oh, okay. I will make it as 80 now. <coughs> this is where you are having a big problem. Right? I will not make it as 80. We will not see whether 80 is available or not. Fine, click on it. I will not change it to 80 now. Fine, click on tab now. So 22280. So go there. So I will now save and close and then I will now requery. 80 is accepting it now. Mm -hmm. Save and close now. And then requery and then save it. So click on it. Save and close. Save and close the one. Mm. So it was not throwing any error for the receipt accounting now. But because it's a vision, fine. Some of them are internally set actually. We are having our own structure, it will also throw an error. We have three errors. Everything is showing only on the accrual actually. So we are now saving and closing it now. So we will now again requery and then see whether it is all there now. In the receipt accounting plan, go there. If you review it, fine. There are three errors are there. One, two, three. The first error is on the on the on the mapping set accrual is now having error. This is also accrual, and then this is also accrual. These are errors now, fine. Three errors are there. So if you go to the manage mapping set, fine, it's now saving it now. So after it is saved, what happens? We will now requery and then see it actually. The speed has come down. Come on here. <laughs> this is the problem. Sometimes what happens, if speed comes down, it will be very, very difficult actually. If you, there is a mistake also, then it will be giving a problem. 2280 is there. If this account number is not there, it will not throw an error after some time actually. Hey, go, go, go. They are not going at all. I will not right click and then duplicate. No, fine. Click on duplicate. I will not have a look at it. Right? If it is saved, we will be able to see it. Now, right? Go there, click on it. I will not remove up to com now. It's a very big topic, actually. The real problematic area we had to reach, actually. Click on it. And then, what happens? You go to the setup and maintenance. You know, see whether it is saved or not. Right? There's a procurement fine. Go there. Manage mapping. Set. Manage percentage fine. Map percentage. Set percentage and then enter it now. You go to the receipt accounting. Click on the receipt accounting. I will now click on the manage mapping set and then I will now query for the accrual and then see whether it is okay at the one. Fine. Click on it. I will now go to the accrual. No, fine. 
is using IAF and then query for it. Click on the hyperlink of it and then have a look at it whether my area is there. So click on it. The US startup accounts. And then here the inventory organization is what? D021. And then entry now and you'll see whether the account number. So it's not in them. That means what? It is still saving it actually in this case. Oh God, there is a problem actually. Right? 22280 is not accepting it actually. You can go there. So click on it. And you'll see whether what is available now. So click on search now. Find 22280 is not there. And go there. So 222, and then click on search now. Find 80 is not there. Ah, what about the 70 is there? 80 is there actually. I will not choose this one. Okay? Because there is some problem because of which whatever is not coming properly. So I will not change. Find click on 22200 is the one. So click on save and close now. Find click on save and close is not So 22200, it has accepted it actually. It has accepted it. No. So if you go there and then query for this, right? D021. D021. Is that 222? Oh God, now it's coming as 80. <laughs> oh God, something is now happening. You will cancel now. And then I will now make a search again. Now if I click on it, I will now search again. I click on search again. And then go to the accrual and then have a look at it. Go to the accrual and then go there. In this one, what happens? Go there. D021 and then enter it now. Okay? I made a okay, 22280 is there. Okay, so it's okay. Now, let me go and then create the distribution now. Thank you for it. Go to the review account. Thank you for that. So, I will not go there. I will not create the receipt accounting distribution. Thank you for it. I will not go to what? Receipt accounting. Create receipt accounting. Thank you for the create accounting. And then we are not going to create a receipt accounting distribution. Thank you for it. I will not what I was to go there. It is a receipt accounting. The ledger is what? US primary ledger. No. US primary ledger. Go now. Thank you for it. And then it is going to be final now. Thank you for that. And then summary is going to be detailed. Is the SS now? Fine, you are posting it also. So go there, click on submit now. <laughs> we are now creating it because accrual is now set with some value. And go there, go to the model process, and then have a look at it now. So create accounting is now run again now. So this time you should not have any error at all. Because accrual, there are three errors were there. Now all the three errors are solved actually. So such a big topic, but it is very, very difficult actually. People suffer in the field actually. Consultants will be having a very tough time in what happens, they're doing the reconciliation of the receipt accounting actually. Receipt accounting reconciliation is the toughest job in the field actually. Some more import is also happening now, fine. Maybe this one may be happening now, fine. Because this must have got set up actually. So this import is for hours actually. Previously what happens, some other thing was got imported. Like this may be for hours actually. I cannot see the report because output will be having plenty of information now. Fine. So the execution report will not give you anything at all. Post journals is now waiting. Can go there. So if you see the create accounting, if it is completed, you can go there. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. So create accounting is still running actually. So only when everything is completed, the create accounting will be ending actually. It's all succeeded now. Fine. Go on, go on, go on. So create accounting is running still now. Go down, right? You know, end up in a warning actually. Now we will now go to the receipt accounting and then we will now make a search again. So, so it is an error actually. If I click on search, now what happens? It must the error should have come out. If I click on search, it should not have come out of the error. I click on it. Yeah, good. It is now final accounted. Jolly jolly. It is now final accounted. Then go there, click on it. And then if you go down now and then see this, what happens? All the accounts are there. So go there. And then if you go there, so click on it, now, and expand it. So I'm in the journal entries now. Go to the cost information. The cost information is coming. Go there. And then afterwards, what happens if you go there, go to the distribution spike. Distribution is now there, showing now. All the distribution are showing. Right? Thousand on the debit side on the receiving inspection accrual. And then if you go to the journal entries, you are not having the entries now. <sighs> debit and credit. Right? So receiving inspection is now debited on this account actually. Right? Account and all are coming in a random manner, right? That is because of vision actually. I know that. So now what happens? One intercompany entry is also coming actually. So this will be taught by whatever the TGL actually. Anyways. And then afterwards, what happens? You are having the accrual. Accrual is now set. Fine. So 22280 has got hit. Intercompany leave it. No, fine. 22280 has got hit. So this is your receipt accrual. Receipt accrual is this one. So accounting is now fully complete. Now I will now go to the what? In the manage invoices. No, fine. Create invoice. Well, come on. So now what I am doing is for 900 only, I am going to make a payment picture. So go there. Click on it. So 901. So go there, go to the top, and then click on save now. Are you all here? Fine. Are you understanding it? Can somebody say yes to me? 
Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. So click on save now. Then click on save. So the invoice is now getting created now. Click on save. For 900 coins. And then since there is no tax, what happens? You'll be getting a tick mark. Green tick mark will be coming on the line. That is what? The amount of the header and then the lines are same actually. If you see this, what happens? You go down now. You go to the right hand side. You cannot see. A tick mark will be coming. So a tick mark is coming. That means what? There is no taxes at all. If there is a tax, what happens? You have to correct the header. So there is no tax because the location is not having any tax. So let us now validate the invoice. So it is now coming. So it is only a single line now. You go there. You go to actions and then not validated. Invoice actions and then I will not validate. So I am going to validate it. So validation will be successful because there is no error at all. Right? There is no distribution error actually. So it gets validated. And then I am going to account it. How I am going to account it? I will now go to the place and then I will know what happens a post to ledger. So by posting it to ledger, it gets accounted actually. So if you go there, go to invoice actions and then here what happens? Uh, uh, if you have a look at it, uh, where, where to look at it actually? Uh, okay, click on the validated. If you click on the hyperlink on the validated, it will now say it is validated but not accounted. It is not accounted. So let us now account it. Now. So it is now validated but not accounted. So once when you post to ledger, what happens? It will get accounted also. You go to invoice actions and then post to ledger. So the post to ledger will now initiate the accounting also. Accounting also will be completed upon posting to the ledger action. You go there. I will now post it. So the accounting has been completed now. And click on OK. And if you click on the hyperlink of it, what happens? It will now say validated in my account. Now it becomes eligible for payment actually. So payment will be taught in the payable study. Now what I am going to do is I am now going to transfer it to Z accounting. I am going to transfer these entries of 900 being uh, whatever invoice created. I am going to send it to what? Receipt accounting now. So this is where the real problem comes in. So we have received 1000, but we created invoice only for 900 because he has not given the two years pass actually. So likewise, every PO will be having a lot of such differences actually. So we have to reconcile it. Reconciliation is the toughest task for every procurement manager. Actually. So receipt accounting is having 1000, whereas invoice is only for 900. So the difference is 100 qualities actually. Remember, accrual is always quality based actually, represented in money actually. So we will now transfer it to what? Costing. Receipt accounting. You go to the monitor process and go there. So click on the schedule new process and go there. So transfer cost. Transfer cost to cost management. So this will be pushing it into the receipt area, not the cost area actually. So the AP invoices which has been created and then accounted, that will be sent to the receipt area actually. Transfer cost to cost management, it will be sent to the receipt area. If I click on OK now, fine. It will be sent to the receipt area actually. And then the business unit is required. Fine. Go to the D02 is the parameter. We have to pass it on. Fine. Click on it. We now pass it. So click on submit. So now what happens? You have to say a cutoff date also. So cutoff date is what? 31st of July. Month is what? Uh, 07. Start 31. And then year is 24. Is month, date, and year. Month, date, and year. So click on submit. Up to 31st of 07, what happens? I'm going to transfer all the invoice information into the receipt accounting area. Fine. Click on submit now. You're transferring it now. Fine. Click on it. You're not transferring it. So click on close now. Fine. Click on it. Transfer cost to cost management is now right. Fine. Click on it. So this, not, this has got succeeded now. Now we will now come to the receipt area. I will now give it done now. We will now come to the main area. So, so now what happens? The unmatched accrual balances is to be 100 now. 100 dollars. The unmatched accrual balance is unknown. This is a place where what happens will be having a lot of the problems. So we have 900. It has been transferred to the receipt accounting. So we are now going to calculate the unmatched accrual balances actually. So click on it and go there. Click on it. And then here what happens? You go there. I will now what are match receipt accruals. So between receipt accruals and then AP accruals, we are going to make a match. Fine. We are going to match it now. Receipt accruals and AP accruals, we are going to match it. Fine. Click on the match receipt accruals. It's called accrual reconciliation. It's a big topic now. So click on the match receipt accruals. Fine. Click on the match receipt accruals. And then the built unit is what? D02. And then give a tab now. <coughs> Go there. So here normally what happens is we will be doing it on a monthly basis actually. Fine. Month is what? 07 slash 01 slash 24. And then we will now do the matching by month and now. Fine. So 07 slash what happens is 31 slash 24. So one full month I am going to perform that. What happens is matching actually. So the from and to date are important. Commit is okay. Fine. Go there. Click on submit. 
So by which what happens? Whatever transaction has happened in the particular month, we will not be doing for July actually. We'll be doing for March or April, right? And then we'll not see, and then we we'll do it. Right? Click on submit. So once when it is submitted, what happens? The unmatched one will be coming now. Right? Click on it. Will not give a cancel. No fine. Click on cancel, and then wait for the concurrent to complete. No fine. Go to the monitor process, and then have a look at no fine. Click on it. So now matching is happening. Matching is completed. Now if you go there and then see on this no fine, go there. So it's not done. No fine. Give cancel. <clears throat> Oh, it's not coming from the, so close it now. So in the overview, unmatched accruals has to come. Why is it not coming? It has to come now. Why is it not coming? Anybody? This is the button which is responsible for it. Now. Sir, have we run this uh, uh, create accounting for payables? Payables create accounting is a different one. So we have already pushed the data from payables to receipt accounting. So if you refresh it, you will get it. If you click on refresh, what happens? It will show you how much is un unmatched. So you can now see what happens. Uh, unmatched accrual balance is fine. Mother. So it's not showing you zero. No. So the blue color is not accounts payables one. Accounts payables. And then this is the receipt accounting. This is the difference actually. How come now? Difference how is thousand grams. This is okay. what happens. You go there. You're not coming. So let me create the distribution and see. No, fine. You're not going to zero. Fine. Go there. So accounts payables one has been transferred. Uh, accounts yeah. payable distributions is not coming, I guess. Uh, ah, it is not come over here now. Fine, why it's not coming? It has to be nine hundred actually. Uh, can we post that invoice, sir, and then try here? Invoice is already posted actually. Fine, the clear. What happens? It is already validated as an account also. It is validated as an account also. Everything is not done. Oh, okay. Transfer cost to cost management has been done. Oh, no thing in this place. What happens? We go there. We will now create the distribution. Thank you for that. Uh, I will not go there. We will have to do the distribution creation actually. Not in nothing, sir. No, we are going to. Where is that now? Here, what happens? We will not create the distribution. Okay, so, we will not go there. Click on. We will not, it has come over here, but I have not created the distribution actually. Fine, go there. So, it must have gone into the, what happens? The interface area. Fine, go there. So, create receipt accounting distribution. We will not create it. So, go there. So, D02. Fine, D02 is the one. Fine, what happened? So, we will not create the distribution. It must have posted it on the interface tables of receipt accounting. Fine, go there, click on it. No, 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 fine, give a cancel. Give a cancel, no button. Oh, God. Click on server. So go to the monitor process and then we'll now wait for it. Click on it. Monitor process. We'll go there. So import transaction, the interface tables of receipt accounting. Probably from payables, it must have come into the interface area. Now we are importing it actually. And then after importing it, what happens? We'll now go on and have a look at it. Anyhow, I will not be able to complete this topics now. Fine, anyhow, it will be going to the next week only. <laughs> anyhow, at one point, I will not stop now. Fine, it may not be 9.30, maybe at 9.40. I will, not, I will not take 10 more minutes because there must be a logical stop, actually. So, I will go there. Fine. Receipt accounting distribution sub process is now running. Now. So, I will now have a logical stop to this uh, topic, actually. So, we will now see the distributions. It will now succeed at my that. So, create accounting is also completed and will succeed at. Now we will now go there and then we will now go to the receipt accounting. Right? Go to the supply chain execution and then here what happens? We go to the receipt accounting. So the 900 has to come with unmatched actually. So what I want to say, oh, something is coming 0 0.04 million. Now, right? oh, I will now go there and then choose my oh, we, uh, my BU has to be chosen. I will now choose my BU now. I can click on apply now. To do it. Oh God, it will be refresh it. To refresh it, what happens? It has to come. Now. It is still not what happens. Unmatched accruals is not there at all. This uh, what is this zero dollar? Right? This is account zero payable. is for accounts payables. No accounts payables uh, is 500 actually. It is not zero dollars actually. What can you start check it? this uh, payable accounting? Payable accounting is completed. Now, go there. You see, validated. It is now accounted also. Validated in account. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Payables is now fully valid and accounted. And then we have transferred the cost to cost management actually. We'll again do it. So there's some problem. Go to the monitor. So transfer cost. It's called transfer cost to cost management actually. So it is basically cost to receipt accounting. Payables to receipt accounting. This concurrent is for payables to receipt accounting. Hey, Tijil, are you there? Tijil is an expert actually. Why it is not coming? I couldn't understand. So what happens? The cutoff date. I have to put a cutoff date actually. 
So I will say month is 07 slash. Shall I put today's date actually? So there is something on the cutoff date. Also. Did we put 31st before? Yeah, mm -hmm. cutoff date is up to 31st. I put no point. I put up to 31st now. Fine. Month and year actually. And then slash 24. I will not put 14 now. 14 is today's date. I go there. So I initially done for this. The cutoff date is 14 and then click on submit. No fine. Click on submit. I will not do it only up to 14. You know. We will see whether it comes or not. Don't go there. I don't see this. Normally, the distribution need not be created at all. It will be appearing straight away on the base tables, basically. Transfer cost to cost management. It, it's no, done, Nana. It's not done, no. Right? So that I will now go there and then click on this. No, find the right point. And then click on refresh. No, find click on refresh. It has to come. It's still not coming at all. The zero has to come. No, find the and match of course. I will do one thing and go that you want. Uh let me go there. So it is a match receipt accruals now. Fine, you want it. Uh, match receipt accruals the one. I will again run it. Now click on the match receipt accruals. The business unit is what D02, and then give a tab now. So the from date is what month is what 07 fine, and then 01 and then 24. Somewhere some mistake I'm making it actually. M, D, and Y. If I know that. My M is what? 0, 07 slash 31. I will not say 14 and then 24. Somewhere some mistake. I'm doing it because of which whatever is not coming at all. Click on something. So only up to today, I'm not doing it. No, fine. Click on it. Previously, I've done for the whole month actually. Give a cancel. Okay. So submit it. And then go to the monitor process. So once when you do the receipt accruals, there is no need to create a distribution at all. It will be coming automatically. Match receipt accrual sub clause is now completed actually. It will now go there. Then how about it? I click on it. Ah. So go there. So what do you do? You have to close it now. Fine. Close the screen. And then here I will now go and then refresh it. Ah, it's not gone. So what is the mistake now? So now point nine is a receipt accrual. Fine. Accounts payable is a uh, accrual. And then one case the receipt accrual, the difference is this much. Are you clear now? Fine. So I gave 14 as a date, and then everywhere, what happens is working actually. This is the biggest problem for the management actually. So this yellow line has to be zero. This means what? The zero, the yellow line means what? This much of a money is not paid actually. Maybe the what happens? The, the department, the mechanical department has stopped it. But we vote to the supplier actually. So let us say tomorrow, if the supplier gives me the two years pass, we have to make a payment actually. Got it now, fine. So now what happens is they will now ask the AP team as well as the purchasing team and then the receiving team all jointly work together and then what happens is do the reconciliation of this. And then ultimate aim is what? Yellow line must be zero actually. Sometimes in some companies it will be in one million dollar also. So much of a money. Because company has to reserve that much of a money for paying. So your money is getting unnecessarily blocked actually. Are you able to understand? Somebody can say yes to me. Anna, sir. Yeah. Uh, we understand. But uh, I just want to know the sequence of ESS which you ran to bring this 100. Okay. okay. One thing is what? I uh, I did what? First of all, because we ran many cost ESS. to cost management. And then I okay. matched the results. Now. These two okay. things I did. Initially, I did up to 31st. Now, I did only up to 14th, actually. Uh, cost. Transfer cost to cost management will now bring the data from the AP to the receipt accounting area. Receipt accounting, okay. And then when you match it, what happens? It will now show the difference, actually. Okay, fine. So, so in between, that. okay, before that, we need to run the receipt distribution and create accounting. Not a, the no, receipt the create accounting is not required. This is an addition. I thought that it is not working. It is not required. So this oh. transfer cost to cost management will now populate your base tables of receipt accounting directly. Mm -hmm. There is no need okay. to create a distribution at all. I know that. Okay. But even then, that is all not coming. So I ran it. That, that's why, because so many ESS we ran. Yeah, yeah. Want this to one ask which is, is, a, is an unnecessary one, actually. It is not required. Okay. So transfer cost to cost management will now bring it to the base tables of receipt accounting. Now, okay. what happens, uh, now the payables team, the receivables team, as well as the invoice team will not talk to the supplier. Are you 
तुम मेरे को दो ही स्पैर दे दो so they will be running it every day every day evening right accrual reconciliation report they will not run it every day evening and then they will not analyze based upon this now so go there d02 is the one fine give it up now go there so click on it and then what happens is the one uh if you want you can even give the item actually but there is only the only one item on this business unit fine doesn't matter the remaining is okay fine go there come on i will not what happens is go there i will not submit it so we are given the business fine so accrual reconciliation fine go there you must have transaction date is required okay go on so the from transaction date fine go there come on I will not say put today's date. Now, finally, go and put today's date. I mean, this also today's date because only everything is done only today. Now, so the transaction date is important. Finally, go that click on submit. Now, the reconciliation report will be created for this business unit. Only one day. Finally, go that go on. This will be done on the everyday evening, and then they will now sit and then decide about who will now talk to the supplier because of the difference actually. So uh, you will have hundreds of lines like this. One. So. Ultimately, what happens? The management expects you to what happens? They nullify this yellow color actually, because if the if yellow color is one million, so tomorrow or after ten days time, we have to pay one million to the supplier actually. Got it now? So at the time, you will not be having money at all. So we have to lock the money for this company's funds has to be locked for what happens? They clearing this yellow actually. If it is written off, it's okay. We are now communicating the supplier also that I am writing it off. Got it now? Fine. Got us. So go to the monitor process. Fine. Go that one. Not it's a very very important process actually. So accrual reconciliation the report the report no fine is not succeeded. Well no, since it is a report we can republish and see it now. Report and click on the republish and go there republish and then go there and click on it and then export to PDF now. These are all practical problems I am now telling you now fine. <laughs> click on it you will not see them. So it will now give you PO wise report now. So this is the first purchase order now fine go there. So click on it. So receiving into receiving inspection is now what happens there 2001. Fine, go there. So it is now showing something, 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 and then what happens? You go there, thousand dollars, and then now it is now showing you something. Actually, what happens? Uh, this has to be done after what happens? Uh, writing it off. Actually, fine, go there. So the accrual balance is this much. Net accrual balance is not thousand actually. It is only hundred actually. I don't know why it is not coming properly. Maybe, maybe what happens? Uh, after doing certain things only, we had to run the report. Fine, we will now again run the report after some time. Fine. So now the net accrual balance is now thousand is now coming up. Maybe after cost accounting we have to run it now. Fine. Maybe after cost accounting, fine. Go there. Maybe we will not run it afterwards. So this report is not exactly complete. It will now give you what happens for every PO wise all the details actually. We will not run it after cost accounting. Fine. Go that point. Now what happens? We are now going to write off. Fine. Go that point. We are going to write off this one. So this hundred dollars I am going to write off. So go there. So the, your evening report is now coming. Fine. Go there. Click on it. We are going to write up now. Fine, click on it. If you click on the hyperlink on this now, fine, this is basically a info net. If you click on it, it will not show you how much is now accrued. Another is one. So go there, click on it. No, the right hand side. What happens? You go there. There. Yeah. So it is not showing you the accrual adjustments now. Fine, go on. So nine hundred is one. Thousand is there. Fine, there is it. The nine hundred is paid actually. And go there for that. So here, what about net received now? Net received is what is okay. Fine, go there. Uh, net invoice now. Fine, go there. Everything is now showing you. uh then what happens you will now see accrual balance quantities now actually balance quantities when everything is now done on the quantity basis now 900 is the one thing over so quantity difference remember accrual is basically what is quantity based actually what difference is not showing you fine over that code everything is not showing you now what happens we don't have any action menu because we are now come via the info let actually So now I am going to adjust it. Fine, click on done. Now fine, go there. Click on done. So what I do is, you should not click on this and then go to this place. If you click on it, we cannot take any action. Fine, you go there, click on it. So from the navigation, what happens? You adjust. In the accrual clearing, we have an adjust. Fine, adjust receipt accruals. Fine, click on the adjust receipt accruals. Fine, go there. So once when you adjust it, this will be populated. Now this will be populated. Whatever you have written off in the past seven days, actually. Fine, click on it. We'll now go to the place. Fine, go to the adjust receipt accrual also. I just visit accruals. Fine, go there. So I'm going to search for it. Now, fine. I will say starts on D02, D02. Fine, go there. Normally, what happens? Uh, the what happens? How many days it is old actually? So 
30 days or 90 days fine whatever has not been paid for this many days only you are going to query now in this case what happens i'll make it all and then supplier also fine supplier i'm not giving it fine click on search now it will give you a warning now fine if you don't give a supplier a lot of entries will be coming it doesn't matter fine we got only one more fine click on it otherwise what happens you have to give a supplier wise you have to go to query now. so it says what accrual adjustment is what 100 dollars actually fine accrual adjustment 100 dollars fine go there so go there go there fine go there so it's what is it's not showing so item price fine all these things are going so the balance quantities is not showing net received and then thousand quantities and then net invoice is nine quantities fine go there the quantity difference is what 100 quantities and remember accrual is quantity based now i am going to write off this 100 quantities actually so go there i am not going to write off so go there go to actions and then what happens adjust the balances actions and then adjust the balances here i'll now say what happens a two years pass not supplied because of which we are writing it off so this message will now go to the supplier also two years past supply so click on okay by which what happens this gets written off now fine click on okay i am now adjusting the balances fine go there click on okay now fine so the line will vanish now the line itself will now vanish this place it is now written off the accrual adjustments were processed is not written and then if you go to the next tab again adjust accrual balances if you go there and then query there it will be there fine go there I will not say starts with fine, and then I will not say D zero two, and then make a search. No fine, click on search. Here it will be there. Right. So whatever is adjusted available now. Now we will not give it done now, and then here what happens in the info let it will not show you how much has been written off. And remember this writing off you have to discuss with the supplier. Fine, right. supplier you have to discuss. Otherwise what happens? Uh, uh, he will not shout on you actually. He will not shout on you. Accrual written off is all that. So now what happens? Supplier will be getting a mail that what happens? Hundred dollars is now written off because you are not supplying. He will now say, "Are sir? I am now now within one hour. I am now bringing the supplies now." Fine. So what you will do? You will now reverse the uh, write off actually. You are going to reverse it. Fine. Go that. So he is saying that I am now bringing in very quickly. Fine. Go that. You will now again go to the adjust receipt accruals. Fine. Go that. I will now go to the adjust accounts. Fine. Go that. I will now query for it. Now click on start. Fine. Go that. The D zero two. And then click on search now. If you click on search, what happens? So let us now reverse the adjustment. Then select the line and then reverse the adjustment. Because he is now bringing in one hour, the two years pass now. So click on the reverse adjustments. What happens? The adjustment is reverse fine. <coughs> Supply. Mm -hmm. Supply two years pass. And then click on OK. Fine. Maybe what happens? It will come here. Supply two years pass. The line will vanish from here now. An application error occurred, missing in and out parameters. Fine. The accrual reversal adjustments were processed. But this is a good one. Fine, this is more process. Some other errors coming. Fine, click on OK. Fine, this is all that. Go there. So if you go there and then click on done now, and then I will now again go there and then see now. Fine, I will now refresh it. If I refresh it, <coughs> it will now go to zero. <coughs> you go to the adjust visual. I go there. <coughs> in the main area, if you go and then query, what happens? You'll now see this D02. I will now make it as all and then query for it. Now, click on it. So, go there. It has now come in the main area. Open accruals. So, at this stage, I am now going to make a logical stop actually. <laughs> there are some more things are there. So, there are more things to come now. How difficult it is now. If it is difficult, what happens? You can put a X mark. If it is easily understandable, can you put a green tick mark now? Right? Now see how many of you are putting an X mark. Now? If you are difficult, what happens? You can put an X mark. Right? Venkat himself is saying X mark in Bombay. <laughs> Bagidar, you are also saying it's difficult. It's a very That's... long process. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I have to accept the fact, Nanaji. Mm. So this is where my students suffer actually. So the reconciliation is a big, big task now. Sangeeta is also saying X now. Oh God. Anybody is going a green tick mark, we'll not see whether they are com comfortable. Ah, Vispa is good. Vispa, can you open up your mic and then speak? No, fine. You understand everything? Vispa? Yeah, you... yeah. Actually, I have uh, understanding before I joined this car. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. You, you're aware of it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Great, great. Okay, Vispa is aware of this receipt accounting reconciliation actually. He's already aware of it. So he is comfortable on this front now. Fine. Is it really difficult like this in the field or it is even more difficult or less difficult? Vispa? 
yeah actually uh, the, the not much deep call uh, uh little challenging we need to understand that logic yeah. then it will be easier yeah yeah logic has to be understood very clearly so you are also following the same thing i have I explained everything on this now whether i am uh, missing anything or is it okay yeah yeah you have covered all yeah very good thank you thank you thank you is really really difficult now actually yes so yes. it is not complete at fine receipt accounting reconciliation is not complete fine we will be continuing it tomorrow because next week and i don't know whether this instance will be there or not <laughs> if the instance is not there i have to set up on the new instance everything and then come up to this place actually i will not see on the next saturday right brother so viswa is the only guy or anybody else hey sripati you must be able to understand it no fine you are a big guy actually sripati what is a big guy hey sai lavanya not at all, huh? not at all sir <laughs> learner infusion and my background is ebs so learning so that's why joining your all classes trying to learn grasp much as much as possible hey sai lavanya what about you are you better sir not that, that great but bright better okay you are okay you can even put a ghost like on ghost like on means what it is in between x and green actually sai lavanya is able to see that she is able to understand but she has to sit and then practice basically exactly sir once practice we'll get more uh, queries inside and into this now fine anybody else a hey, gumala you must be knowing it now you uh, you are clear or you are still also not clear now gumala prasad mahidar sir sir uh, oh yeah understood sir but little bit uh... <laughs> difficult now fine you have to practice then only what can you do now sangeeta is saying go slow now fine good 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 one the one viswa has understood it now fine he is now working on the field And he is saying that I have covered everything on this now. Fine, brother. It is still some more things are left actually. Another one hour session is there still actually. We will then we will we will learn more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, are we going to connect tomorrow? No, no, no. Tomorrow is Monday. Now, fine. Monday is okay. okay for everybody. So okay. next session will be on six pm on Saturday actually. Okay, fine. Six pm on Saturday. India, 6 p.m. India on Saturday now. Yeah. So it's a very tough topic. It is not an easy one. Fine. My yeah. students say that is a very laborious one now. Fine. When you have fine and lines to be what happens uh, written off, you have to talk to the supplier. Supplier has to agree. If supplier is not agreeing, you are running it. What happens? He will not shout on you. Sir says, okay, I will not be able to supply this. He may ask for GST registration. He is saying still is now under process. Fine. He has to agree for all your write offs actually. It's not an easy job, right? Sitting with the suppliers, right? The what happens? The purchasing managers, the payables managers, and then the inventory managers, and then the what happens? The users, no, right? The mechanical department, who is the ultimate users, they all sit together and then decide upon what to do. No, because company's money will not get unnecessarily locked if something is not paid actually. Because you must make arrangements for the money. If once when the uh, requirement are met by supplier, you have to pay him, no. that is where what happens they will not say write it off uh, sir uh, are uh, are you covering the uh, period and accrual process no uh, period and accrual i don't know fine. okay it is not known to me fine yeah. that will be covered only in the cost yeah, another, yeah. other side of the coin yeah, that yeah, is tigil yeah, tigil will not cover the period and accrual period and accrual okay period and process everything you will not cover in this costing to me okay fine any other doubts otherwise we will not call today actually Uh, this is saying actually i am working in discrete math actually okay this scenario sir in every month uh, if any receipt ah. we have to accept and delete the same day sir otherwise it will uh, affect on statutory audit yeah, yeah. once is you can the full payment yeah. the payment is based on that debit note only not this yeah, yeah, format yeah. this is a practical yeah, yeah. payment will be based upon debit note or otherwise on the invoice itself you can make a payment yes sir So we can even make a payment on the invoice, not necessarily on a debit note. <coughs> company to company, the process will be. Yes, sir. Why I am telling you is uh, every month we enjoy. You are making a debit also. code for making a payment. Yeah, yeah. Input uh, credit also. Oracle uh, does not insist upon a debit note. Invoice itself is sufficient for Oracle to make a payment. 
sir this case is uh, supply is not understanding the issue that's why the problem yeah, yeah. not so based on that name yeah he's yeah. not having to this pass basically mm, yeah, so yeah. otherwise he's not giving now fine <laughs> the accounts people will get the, the mail from into you sir based on that uh, we'll raise the a mechanical MVP, department which has not purchased the, the issues yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the tender are based authority. it will get back to uh, yeah yeah they are and processes difficult sir the in indian uh, maximum gc is uh, neutralizing in it will affect an input credit also so that's why we can immediately solve the issues otherwise it be uh, you don't write off what happens uh, management will be shouting on you you accrued so many for payment actually they will not ask you why 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 take an audit and external audit also the same yeah, yeah, yeah. external audit also is coming so many are not paid then it has got accrued for such a long time 180 days it is now accrued but right? not been paid what are you doing now are you sleeping or what they will not ask you <laughs> <laughs> Sangeeta, the concept is clear, na? Whatever I told, the concepts are all clear, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Concepts are clear. So few things are new to me. I have to have a hands-on on that. Hands-on, obviously. Then I can give a green tick mark. Good, good. good. <laughs> good, good. Work That's on it. That's the only part. Yeah. So in the next week, what happens if anybody has, what happens, done the write-off? What happens? Please post. I will be very happy to see it. Write-off completed. Right? If you see it, what happens? I will be very happy to see it. Sure. So, bye for now. Since there are no other questions, we'll now call it a day, and then we'll now meet at 6 p.m. on Saturday next. Thank okay. you, Nana. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Nana, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.